Oh, deep okay. Breath. You'll be fine. I'm, I'm so glad I got in here. <laughs> this is I'm just great. kidding. I'm just you kidding. That's all. <laughs> Your camera looks fine. Everything looks good. Conditions to continue with temperatures only. In the low 30s for the next several hours. Okay, we gotta get some words together for Sarah. Sounds <laughs> good. Oh, I'm here, for instance. Mm. A new and rule on nepotism sparked some debate today about hiring. Alex Grinch well, is Gary. There goes nepotism. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, say there goes that. Man! <laughs> According Don't to the rules and regulations, an administrative superior could not be a blood relative of What tablet employee. do you have, Kim? And that brought up the question I have the, the um, administrative superior would be HTC Evo for uh, Evo View for G. It used to be HTC Flyer. Uh, and not Gary Payne. And Sprint However, brought it into their family of products. So. Oh, it okay. now has its own wireless broadband. Prosecutors dropped a charge against a Kansas firefighter oh. accused of stealing from a store after the Joplin tornado. The prosecutor dropped a misdemeanor stealing charge uh, against Matthew Page. So Page could be prosecuted in municipal court. That means Page could face municipal court prosecution with another firefighter. So what words are we going to send Sarah's In international today? news, a wave of bombings hmm. swept across Baghdad today, killing at least 57 people and injuring another 200. It was the worst violence in Iraq in months. Officials said 14 bombs attached to cars, roadside bombs, and vehicles packed with explosives caused the bloodshed. The bombings come at a rocky time in Iraq's political history, just days after American troops pulled out of that country. A top U.S. general blamed miscommunication and a lack of trust for an airstrike last month that killed two dozen Pakistani troops. The investigating officer says the U.S. troops were fired on first by what they thought were enemy forces. My son got a ice cream sandwich US soldiers and an excess last appropriately week. based on their information. Oh, cool. Since the attack, Pakistan I know it was rolling out for that one this soon. Also thrown US All of a sudden, he looked at his phone and he got it, so... Meanwhile, in North Korea, the flag is still at half staff what as North Koreans mourn the loss of the leader Kim Jong Il. The flag no, he got is in the troops' village. Oh, four point oh. Yeah. Yeah. the ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Where the South and the North Koreans are I'm just getting the honeycomb. In the capital, state TV says Chinese mourners are laying white flags at Kim Jong Il's charge it up, put it on the Wi-Fi, and. Despite an ongoing drug war, the Mexican government is dissolving one city's police force. Officials in the Gulf port city of Veracruz say they are trying to root out police yeah, I think my corruption. Tablet has More than 800 officers yeah. and 300 workers will lose their jobs. The Navy I has only have a phone. No tablet. <laughs> Here closer to home, Secretary of State Robin Carnahan is looking to raise taxes on tobacco products. The American Cancer Society of Cole County is leading a petition drive to try to increase tobacco taxes by that means I have to install cents. all of my apps what you have to say and go to oh, the joy. Yes. Joyful <laughs> joys. I'm going to drink here a bit. I'm going to tell you, you know, know, on honeycomb. Oh, go ahead. You know, okay, I'll if we could have everybody mute except for Maya. Okay, dope. Oops, sorry. Okay. Everybody mute except for Maya. That would be great. That way we don't hear... Um, Straight fits. <laughs> yeah, that, any typing or anything like that. And Maya, I'm going to type pop up your website as well. I'm glad I made it. It's kind of pretty lately. <laughs> and we're next. We got to get words for you too, Sarah. So watch the, the chat. Okay, sounds good. Joanne. Is trying to get in. Joanne R. N. Yeah, it's full. Two tell her it's, if you can tell her it's eight. full. Oh. Okay. okay. And stand by. Everybody can mute except for Maya. That would be great. Mute your audio, not your video. Craig, you can keep your video up if you want. <laughs> your video is fine. Just need to mute your audio. Much. Okay, stand by. Here we go, guys. All right, Matt, thanks a lot. Imagine for a moment if you were born neither male nor female. 
One in every about 2,000 births is an intersex individual, and today we are talking with Maya Posh on our cyber couch. How would your parents choose a name for you? How would you decide how to dress yourself? All of those questions are things that Maya has been dealing with her entire life. She is from the Netherlands and has launched a campaign to raise awareness about intersex in issues. First off, Maya, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you sharing your story with us today. A lot of people get confused with the word intersex. They think that it means transsexual. Can you explain um, your situation and what is an intersex inter individual? Um, well, essentially, um, yeah, it's often confused because it sounds similar, I guess, but uh, the word itself is quite clear. Intersex means between the sexes, between male and female. So uh, it refers to the physical, uh, the body. So, um, well, intersex, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's not about one condition. It contains lots of conditions. Uh, it also occurs um, in about one in every 1,000 cases up to one in every 25, depending on which in the conditions you include. Uh, it one in 1,000 cases in the entire world. Yes, exactly. We here in the United States um, sometimes refer to it as hermaphrodite. Um, is that a correct, correct term? Her hermaphrodite is a subform of intersex. Uh, I am a hermaphrodite, um, which is quite rare because it usually involves that uh, male and female embryo merge in the womb like what happened in my case, with two cell lines uh, competing for dominance for the male and female side. Uh, well, there are many other forms. Uh, one very common one is called AIS. It's um, androgen insensitivity syndrome, which means that uh, the, well, the testosterone receptors are partially if completely uh, non-functional, which means that a, well, all the embryos start of female, the development into a male um, person then is uh, completely absent or uh, only partial. So you can have a, a female who is infertile and has XY genes. So, How difficult example, has this been for you, you Maya? Obviously, um, you've been struggling with, it, with this your whole entire life. You've had multiple surgeries, some of them exploratory surgeries, in order to find um, which of the organs that you have. What advice would you give to someone going through a similar situation in order to be an intersex individual? I guess the best advice I can give is that uh, do not stick around too long if the country you're in uh, does not provide adequate health care. I mean, looking back, I should not have uh, tried to get help in the Netherlands for so long. Uh, in Germany, I uh, went to three clinics. I got the same answer three times. In the Netherlands, uh, well, they tried to convince me that I had to be transsexual. Because uh, here in the Netherlands, as I later found out after seven years, was that here they do not use the term intersex, they use the term DSD, Disorder of Sexual Development, Birth Defect, meaning that the only possible solution for it is surgery, massive uh, sex reassignment surgery, and you are uh, they were assigned the label transsexual. They went so far as to deny my claims, uh, well, my request, I should say, to have uh, examination performed. They uh, lied about uh, well medical results, uh, MRI scans. In Germany, they did see a, uh, a post of vagina and such. In the Netherlands, they kept denying that. Uh, in the Netherlands, they have faked a mosaic test. And You've been through well, an, an incredible journey, and I'm sure it goes on and on. We want to yeah. talk with you a little bit later on in this newscast. You have a blog um, that I have up, uh, up right now, and myaposh.com, um, if you'd like to check it out. It's also on our Facebook fan page, Google+, um, Twitter as well. And we want to talk with you in just a moment um, a little bit more about your blog and um, your efforts to raise awareness for intersex individuals. Maya Pasha, I appreciate you joining us. Thanks so much. Thank you. Dave? Sarah being outdoors tonight, walking from the car into the stores, through the parking lot, may not be much fun because our temperatures are going to be in the chilly 30s. In fact, they're already there. Nothing new there. It's cloudy, foggy, and uh, just uncomfortable. Full forecast coming up on U News at least. Maya, thank you very much. We're going to talk with you some more in the next segment. If you're able to stick around, are you able to stick around? 
definitely. Okay, I'd like to read a little bit of, um, from your blog, um, specifically. Um, there was a post, and I'm reading to you now, I'm lost, I'm afraid that if I continue living, things will become even worse. Above all, I know, I feel, I realize, I'm aware, I am pained. I want to run away from the fact that I am a freak. Maybe I'm not a freak, but I cannot my convince myself that I am not. This morning, I did manage to take a shower, even though it's still hard to see my own body in, in the mirror. It's my own small victory for a brief moment. So I'd like to read a little bit of that and, and talk with you a little bit more about how this technology and Hangouts have allowed you to talk about your, your situation and also connect with other people who are going through um, similar situations as well. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're doing great, lady. A, a difficult, um, difficult, and you all guys can unmute your mics now. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Yay! Yay. 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 I was silently cheering. Very moving. <laughs> Very moving. That was really good, Maya. Good job. Well, I've, I've had some practice. This <laughs> mm. is like this is the first time uh, mm -hmm. doing an interview or anything. So. <laughs> Maya, we've got a lot of people watching on our live stream right now as well. Yeah, I'm should. Let's check up on any comments in the chat, I guess. If I can find it. <laughs> is everybody seeing everyone at the bottom of who is in here? I'm only seeing yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, there are only eight in the on-air hangouts. There yeah, are for on-air. And, I, and I'd like to share this link with you. Oh. Uh, and if you guys could chat here, there are people uh, watching and chatting here. KYMU.com streaming dash newscast. It's Bachman Day. Bachman. Thank you. If you guys would chat there, okay. Um, that way, people outside the hangout can chat with you guys. I was looking for a link. I was looking for a link. Also, you might want to pause the video or mute it so that you won't hear that and the hangout at the same time because you will be able to hear the on air at the same time that the uh, that you're listening to us if you yeah. haven't done it before. You, you can go to the streaming page and just don't start the video if you don't I want I'm the them. And I'm then dealing them. with, uh, yeah. dealing with uh, looking at the, um, the And it's KOMU.com slash streaming dash newscast for you guys watching at home. Gosh, I don't know about you guys, but that excerpt that Sarah read um, left <laughs> left me unable to speak. Yeah. I, was that the one that you shared on um, G Plus, Maya? Which one? Uh, the one that Sarah just read. I'm trying to remember. I think I think that was the one that caught my my eye, and I mentioned it to her. Um, well, this, this story she posted, the story, Maya, that you posted today about your treatment uh, being hauled off to prison and, and badly treated was uh, was also quite disturbing. Yeah, it is. Uh, when that, uh, well, faculty is called for uh, the appointment, it kind of came back to me, <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, that, that was a while ago, right? That, uh, that, that happened? It was in May of this year, and I mean, I, I can't even think back to it. It's, 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 it's too traumatic. <laughs> Craig just said that you're doing a great job <laughs> on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Wheel says plus one Maya. Oh, that didn't take long to update. It took 15 minutes for my tablet to update. Okay, questions for me. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> well, I was asking if anyone had questions for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir is asking the same thing. Great mind speak alike. Saturday and Sunday as well for the Christmas weekend. You hear that, Jane? Good. GMCA. Joanne. Okay, she's circled. Joanne was trying to get into the hangout. Here's her 
Yeah. There's a link to her profile in case you didn't see it in the stream. That is great. That is resplendent. I love that. In today's kudos segment, we are giving out kudos to Southern Hospitality. Check out this ad that the SLU Tigers purchased in support in a Shreveport newspaper. The newspaper will publish this ad tomorrow leading up to the Mizzou's Independence Bowl game against the North Carolina Tar Heels in Shreveport. That ad says, from the LSU Tigers to the Missouri Tigers, good luck in the Independence Bowl. It also asks Shreveport to come out and support the SEC's newest member and welcomes Mizzou to the SEC as well. So, Classy move from the number one team in the country to welcome the zoo and show some of their southern hospitality. Kudos to LSU and the Tigers out there as well. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello to everyone watching on our live stream. David Phillips, Joanne, Roman, um, April from the Rainbow House. Craig, I know you're in there too. Daniel, hello Daniel. As well, just wanted to say hello. We appreciate you guys checking in. Maya's going to share a little bit more of her story and also from her blog. Um, here in probably about 10 minutes, you think? Yeah. If, if you log in with your Facebook account, it will show your picture. Hi, Al Navis. And Al Navis is also watching the live stream. Hi, Al. Hi, Al. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Do you got a cold, Craig? <laughs> you notice. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. I, did. I, see. I can tell you're wow. not. Your wow. nose looks raw. That's how good your camera is. <laughs> See, yeah, it's with, even without new, the reindeer thing. It's the new <laughs> Mac with its high def camera. I don't like it. I'm going to put a bad <laughs> Poor trick. Daniel, you're a mess. I'm, I'm glad I had the screen oh, yeah. on the, the lighting in here. <laughs> yeah, Al, her story is very compelling. You were saying they're reading your story on um, the blog. I'm getting more fans, yay. Yeah. The more people know and uh, hear stories like yours, the more people understand. So, Sarah, you know how to say Merry Christmas in Hawaiian, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I do. Mele Kalikimaka. Jim Sai is wow. also, or is it Seer? I'm not sure how, if I'm pronouncing your name right, Jim, but appreciate you checking in. And Chad Kaczynski, Aaron Furman, Colin Hill, also watching. Hi, Aaron. Colin Dixit and Arlene Boyd. Oh, Arlene, she's in Hawaii. Arlene Boyd says, wow, Maya Posh sounds like you've been through the fire. Hopefully you'll get some comfort from a supported community online. Yeah, I read it. Yay. Am I? What's Look at all that support. Woo! Mm -hmm. Well, most of us love to give and receive, don't we, those Christmas cards? And as NBC's Kevin Tibble explains, one Minnesota family takes their annual tradition to the extreme. you got to see this. On a two and a half minutes to get to HB. There go the pages on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, You're I have a special sound effect. I know. Actually, I've got um, a little bucket right here. Can you see it? Did they give you a bucket uh, down? I got my own. I got my own little bucket. Wow. <laughs> they got tired of picking it up. Yeah. That was great. Steph has to pick it up. Oh, of course. Oh. Did you guys see me doing my happy dance? Usually, I throw them on the floor, but this is Seth. Wave Seth. We, we just.
We used to love to see Seth. We used to love to see Seth sneak around the side of the monitor and collect your pages. I'm gonna head to the other studio here. Seth's gonna clean up my my mess. (laughs) 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 Guys, I am so happy. I'm doing my happy dance. I do not have to reinstall any of my uh, applications. Missing. All I had to do was do updates on three of them. Oh, that's amazing. I have forty some applications. So this is gingerbread or this is uh, ice honeycomb. cream sandwich? Honeycomb. honeycomb. Oh, no. I just upgraded from gingerbread to honeycomb. All right. That doesn't make sense to me in the Christmas season when you want to stay with I'll gingerbread. Tell them you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I kind of walked into that one. I know. I I admit I walked into that one. Uh uh. It's got a really different interface. Yeah, it does. They do keep changing it, you know. I mean, <laughs> oh, sweet! Oh, <coughs> oh, oh! oh. <laughs> well, Maya, good good luck in the second half of the show. I'm gonna uh, bug her out and leave some room for someone else. I'll go watch on the live stream. But uh, once again, right. great job! You're a brave, brave, brave soul, and I admire you for what you're doing. Well, it's also kind of fun, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Keep, keep the positive attitude. We're all with you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, somebody just posted a video on the KM Dan. Dan posted <laughs> an excerpt. Very special. Yeah, it's Bobby Joe. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Is it ugly sweater day again? That's <laughs> 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 Hey, Bobby Joe. That's a nice video that they made. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I Sorry. just wanted to pop in and say hey to Maya, and I'm watching your show. And I'm doing multitasking and stuff, but I'll let somebody else come in because I've been a part of these on-air things a million times already. But just wanted to let you know I'm passing it out for everybody. So take care and good luck and have fun. And Merry Christmas. Same to you. Same to you. (coughs) For some reason, I want to say Feliz Navidad. I I, I just want to burst out and sing that song. I have no idea why. (laughs) It's not like I speak Spanish or anything. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to have so... I mean, I, I, might, I might actually curse the 5,000 um, followers today. Sarah, thanks very much. Well, this oh, yeah. first one is going to... would test if, oh, you, yeah. if you're a dog lover, this would really test oh, your patience. Here's a dog who apparently was frustrated with the fact that he didn't have a door of his own, so he made a door of his own. So. Uh-uh. Yes. Winning uh-uh. a whole new doors. Don't you know that his folks loved him when they came home? I have take to a look. See you know, we talk about sage that. advice at critical times. <gasps> Joanne's in here. Here's a guy Hi, Joanne. Hello, Joanne. For business investing. And he says, avoid stock and companies <laughs> that <laughs> could go bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, we're being encouraged That's to Dave's see. That's Dave's for today. We'll be back in just a moment. As a choir. You see, you used to sing with Joanne in the choir, Kim? Uh, uh, no, uh, Dan, Dan is encouraging the KOMUG Plus Choir to go for it. Oh, yeah. Kim, you don't really use this much anymore, do you? Uh, sing. Can we do it? Red carpet. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Do what? Sing? Do choir. Okay, Sarah has to join in. She can't hear us, darn. She doesn't have her ear in. We can still talk about her, yay. (laughs) All I I keep coming, it keeps coming to my head. Please, Navidad. That's all I know. Please, Navidad. Police no, Navidad. Navidad. That's all I know. That's all I know. Oh. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Oh, gosh. I haven't heard that since I uh, was a music teacher 
in yeah. elementary school. You were a music music teacher, also. Yeah, <laughs> the elementary school kids. Yay! Um, Most fun. <laughs> it, oh yeah, I taught. Um, I was a traveling music teacher, which meant I went to three yeah. different schools per day <laughs> and taught kindergarten to sixth grade, different classes every day. No, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And we had one uh, of those too at at a primary school. It was kind of fun. So we had to do the dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have that one. We had uh, different ones, Dutch uh, things. So, yeah. Came here in US, that. right? Mhm. Mm yeah, I was accepted to Juilliard. Do you know where that is? Yeah, that's in Washington D.C., right? Is it? New York. Oh, New York. New York. Mm -hmm. That's a very famous music school, right? Yes. Oh my god, it's all lagging here. <laughs> well, browser window, not video, fortunately, but... <laughs> Maya. Yeah? Dean Weil says he's uploading some lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm curious to see... Um, I'm curious to see the video. Have they produced that video yet? Kim, about the 12 days of Christmas? I have a question out for Robert now, and hopefully I'll hear something today. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Joanne. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, Feliz Navidad. Do, 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 do. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Joanne, we're going to talk with Maya um, coming up after. We're going to do a news block, and then okay. we're going to come back and talk with Maya. Wonderful. Yay. Yeah, Maya, if you need any support whatsoever, I, I just want to reach out hey, to you. Nathan Higgins. Thank you. By the moment, uh, sharing my videos and story is the most important thing, I guess. So. I've got a lot of that on my uh, OG Plus profile, website, everything, so let's look around see what you can use. <laughs> if you ever need an ear to talk to someone medically, I don't know how comfortable it is where you are. Okay. Or if you have questions, please feel free. And I can, if I don't know, I'll find out. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, okay. Dan just put up the lyrics of Felice Navidad. Where? Oh my. <laughs> In the stream on. Uh, I'm afraid uh, to click on anything, Kim. I don't want to go nowhere. <laughs> oh, you? It, it won't close the window. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just a reminder that even though we're not on the air, we're streaming. Mm -hmm. no, hit me. So, so you know, you're fine for now. I'll have you mute in the next block. I just wanted to, <laughs> to let you guys know that. So, bye, Dan. Um, oh, I guess he signed out. Yeah, Dan's gone. That's why I was. Uh, he just posted the lyrics. Dan Wells, not Dan Inlo. Hmm. Oh, I see it. Oh my. <laughs> That song is in my head now. I can't get it out. Release Navidad. Release I was looking forward to video from that. Weren't you? That'd be neat to see Dennis, you here. down there. In our news today, the contract between Express Scripts and Walgreens ends in just 10 days. That means people who fill their prescriptions at Walgreens through Express Scripts will have to pay more or switch pharmacies. The University of Missouri and the state carry Express Scripts. To find out the full details, you can visit our website. It's at konu.com. We wanted to see what you will do now that the contract is up. Will you pay more or to stay with Walgreens, or are you going to pick a new pharmacy? Kaden Waits, Matt Marina, joins us from the social media desk with your responses. Are we supposed to be mute now, Sarah? Ben, thanks for your comments. Mm -hmm. Good to see you watching. Probably not yet. Uh, Sarah will tell us, I suppose. Oh, we can talk? Okay. Yeah. And so the caption's still in the next... I guess uh -huh. we could do it at the top of the block. Sarah, did you see that? The, I just got a confirmation from the FDA about the Enfamil. Oh, what did it say? There was definitely a death that was connected to... Yeah, um, we, we had a story about that earlier. Okay, um, but is there new information that it was? They need to make sure that this is just from my inside. They they need to make sure even if they got samples from like a drug rep or from their doctor's ah. office, they need to really keep an eye. You know, okay. people don't think I can mention that. that too. I'll mention that too. Is 
bad. All right, thanks a lot. Across the globe, people are getting ready for Christmas. And a tiny town in cash-strapped Spain is now $940 million richer just days before Christmas. $940 million. 1,800 tickets match the winning numbers picked today. Each winner will receive more than $500,000. That lottery began nearly 200 years ago and has become a favorite holiday tradition. I can see why, $940 million, that's awesome. And in Japan, Santa brought some holiday cheer to children who survived Japan's earthquake and tsunami. Children were excited to see Santa, who traveled all the way from Finland. The children were in the school last March when the tsunami flooded their school and also knocked out the heat. Well, these guys are trying to make their Christmas shopping just a wee bit merrier. Three friends all made fake shopping lists for each other. Have you seen this video? They had to go in a store and ask each worker what each item was, and it was a Christmas prank that will put the jingle in your holiday spirit. Okay. So we're coming up in the next block. And Chad Kazansky, good to see you on the live stream as well. Glad you're here today, as well as Bill Cobb. And Daniel Wheel just uploaded a video. Looks, who is that, Dan? It looks like Bob Dylan. <laughs> uh, uh, Jose Fili uh, Fil uh, blah, 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 blah. Feliciano. I can okay, say the name. Good. <laughs> um, Sven just put on our live stream, he says, Hello everyone, accidentally ran into this on G+, and I was touched and caught into this. I normally skip those things, but I had to be here for that pur purpose. Maya, rock on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? Got a lot of support here. Yay. <laughs> So we got a two-minute commercial break, and then we'll come back with um, with Maya. More of Maya. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, and we'll mute ourselves then. Yeah, and you don't need to mute now. Just when we get ready to start. Hmm. And if anybody's um, watching on the live stream, you're you're more than welcome to hop in and join. Yeah. Um, we could still host a few people, yes. Yeah. I, I'm nearing the... I'm, I'm almost at seven, uh, four 700 uh, followers. Yeah. Chad, how do you pronounce oh. your name? Knazinski? Knazinski. I totally butchered it. I know I did. Chad, <laughs> Knazinski. Sarah, you have a word in the... in the uh, chat. The chat thing, it's from yeah. Chad. Okay. Than this now. <laughs> it means oh, lacking yeah. all or most of the hair on the head or bald. How? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I didn't know that. <laughs> Me neither. I know alopecia, but not. Okay. I've never heard of that one. Maya. G plus hit 150 million users. Did you hear okay. that? Woo! And how many months has it been on? Uh, live? <laughs> oh, live, I don't know, but six. Six. It'll be six in six days that it's been published. Merry well, Christmas, Happy beta. Hanukkah, Google. Yeah. So you do a little weather, then I'll go to, to the hangout. Uh-oh, she's going to go for it, guys. Calvus. Calvus. And you have to include the, 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 uh, the uh, definition so people know what the word is. Why? <laughs> Calvus. Okay, stand by. Calvus. Bring it, Chad. I may not be able to pronounce your name, Chad, but I can get that secret word. You bet. What does it mean? It means someone who doesn't have hair, right? Yeah. Calvus? Yeah. Yeah. Balding or totally bald. <laughs> told them that the, the caption has been moved to the next block. To the next block. So it's easier if 8, 9, and 10 have been floated out of the block. Into the F block, right? Okay. Yeah. So we're doing the weather and the hang-up, but no caption. Yep, got it. Uh, correct, not in this block. Okay. 
Okay. And we'll come out to the hangout full, so if you guys want to wave or give a U sign or whatever you would like to do, we have a shot on you. Yay. Welcome back to You News at Four. Everybody in our hangout is getting into the holiday spirit there with their reindeer noses and every, everything else. We're so glad that all of you joined us as well. It is December 22nd, and it is dark out there. Why is it dark out there? Because it's the winter solstice and cold out there as well. Anybody who's calvis or, or bald or anything like that <laughs> would have a difficult time because, you know, you need to wear a hat without it. any hair. You did it. Wonderful. I'll tell you what, it is dark out there, but that's because there's clouds between the sun and us. Uh -huh. And a very thick layer of clouds. So it's uh, rather dismal out there. Foggy, windy, and obviously cold. And there's some snow up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Fortunately, none of that is hitting the ground, at least not in Missouri. So there's a complete look here at our local viewing area. And obviously, that's scanning clearly right now. But if you're going to be outdoors, boy, wear a heavy coat. It is just really chilly out there. The temperatures hanging in the low 30s. That northerly wind makes the low 30s feel like the low 20s. It does indeed. One of the Ooh. things that's getting a lot of comments right now, a lot of people are chatting on our streaming page about this individual right here, Maya Posh. Um, she's from the Never Netherlands and she's been sharing her story on a lot of her social networking sites about intersex issues. Maya is an intersex individual. We appreciate you coming back to share more of your story. Um, first off, I explain to the people at home what is an intersex in individual? How would you describe your situation? An intersex individual is someone who is born with uh, both male and female characteristics, which can range from, uh, from uh, well, having both set of genitals, uh, hermaphrodites, or something in between. Okay. I want to share a little bit of your blog. You have a blog at mayaposh.com, mm -hmm. um, and I, I want to read a little bit of this to you. You say, I am lost. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that if I continue living, things will become even worse. Above all, I know, I feel, I realize, I am aware, I am pained. I want to run away from the fact that I am a freak. Maybe I'm not a freak, but I cannot convince myself that I am not. This morning I did manage to take a shower even though it's still hard to see my own body in a mirror. It's my own small victory for a brief moment. And Maya, though, those are your words. What has that been like to, to write that words and also not only write them, but from the support that you've got um, from people online, people um, on many different platforms? Well, <laughs> Those words basically they're all pain I feel inside uh, for seven years. Uh, well, technically it's my whole life so far uh, because I've never understood what was going on with my body. And the past seven years I've had physicians, psychologists and others um, basically insist that I was crazy, that I was transsexual, that I didn't know my own body. And I mean, even if I had full support uh, support the environment, it would still be hard. Having your uh, total, complete environment working against you, it's, it's beyond terrible. And I'm really glad that I finally found some support here on, uh, on Google Plus on yeah, the first real social networking sites. Mm -hmm. And so what, what do you think needs to be done, Maya? And tell us um, about the petition that's, that's on your blog and your website now. Yeah, I first I started a petition together with a couple of other people uh, to basically it's about upholding the uh, human rights for intersex people uh, because they are being violated uh, in extreme fashion. I mean, it starts with infants because uh, so many infants are born with uh, genitals which are partially uh, male, female, or at least ambitious. They have surgery performed on them when they aren't even a month old, and all too often is the wrong choice. And those surgeries are not medically, medically required. They lead to a lot of grief later on in life. They should not be performed. It should be the choice of their own, uh, of what the child itself wants is old enough to make a decision. And, and have you made that decision yet, Maya? Have you decided what, what's right for you? Well, I haven't had such a kind of surgery, fortunately, because it wasn't visible from the outside that something was going on. Uh, well. What I've decided is that I, I am intersex, I am hermaphrodite, I will always remain like this. I am keeping the parts I do have which are uh, functional, because I, I mean, most of what I have are remnants. 
the only thing which uh, is well kind of have is a penis which isn't really like uh, like a real one but similar enough so I keep in that it's practical and um, because I also have a vaginal remnant I'm having a f uh, an artificial vagina created next year hopefully and that's all what I want then I am complete because I am a rephrodite and that's just who and what I am all right, Maya. Well, I, I appreciate you sharing that story with us. I know that's been very difficult um, for you to share, but um, we appreciate you, you you passing that along to us. And good luck to you in your future endeavors, Maya. Thank you. All right. We'll check in with Angie Bailey for a look at what's ahead on the 5 o'clock news. One brave woman, Maya. <laughs> I feel yeah. a bit empty now. <laughs> yeah. uh, it does feel good, I must say. <laughs> Talk about it. Does it feel good? Oh, yes. Especially yeah. on air. I mean, with, with so many people listening and knowing that uh, something could happen as a result of this, I mean, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Really like this. Are there yeah. many organizations in the Netherlands that you're able to connect with? Are there any no, associations? Because I know there's one um, intersex association in North America. Uh, that definitely doesn't exist anymore. It got, it got uh, had its name changed, okay. different, uh, different structure. But anyway, they are not supportive. I have had contact, mm -hmm. well, tried to contact them. Uh, they are only occupied with the political part. They basically mm -hmm. just have a lot of uh, dinner parties with politicians. They have never helped me, helped never any other uh, intersex people. Uh -huh. They're just useless. I, I mean, I've had some big arguments with them, mm -hmm. and they're useless, as far as I can tell. So, who, so your support networks, you know, really are are online. Then, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so essentially, <gasps> correct. Mm -hmm. So, you're in Netherlands. There is nothing. I mean, we've got one uh, one AAS uh, Netherlands, which doesn't do anything. They don't do anything politically. Uh, you cannot get in contact with other people. You can just get some basic information. That's it. And so there is absolutely nothing. And you've got, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, it, 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 it's just, no, there are no words mm. for how, how pathetic it is. There are no <laughs> words, but you have written some very prophetic words um, in your blog. Well, I try. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I that's like probably therapeutic for you a little bit. Yeah, I, I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> mm. So just Yo. sharing my story. Sharing your story indeed. All right, they're going to move you around here, so if you guys want to put on your seatbelts. Hi, Sean. <laughs> we are in the we're in the middle of a live um, newscast right now. Feel free just to hang out and watch our nonsense ensue here. It's kind of organized chaos. <laughs> so now the word for Sarah. We co-host the show with a live cyber couch via Google Plus Hangout. And you guys are displayed, if you can see, in a 50-inch touchscreen monitor. And so we have been interviewing Maya today. Um, and we're almost to the end of our newscast. We've got about 15 more minutes yet, so sit back. It's nice to meet you. Where are you from, Sean? I am uh, floating in space oh. and time. <laughs> you can drop caption at contest if you want. Uh, Sarah, real quick question for you. What's the latest that you can receive the video tomorrow from Robert? The latest? What do you mean? The video link for oh, the I would need it by two thirty. Two thirty. Okay, I'll let him know. I was just talking to him, um, uh, and he wanted to uh, wanted to know the drop dead time. Yeah, two thirty central would be my deadline in order to get it. We have to put it through a program called Keep Vid. Okay, I told him noon. But <laughs> if, if you can get 2.30, I think he'll be very happy with that. Be, be with some safety there. <laughs> Doing uh, it's good. <laughs> so, Maya, uh, are there more support in Canada? Or Canada, is, is it any better? Oh, yes. Uh, the, the, the main problem here in the Netherlands is that uh, it's very chauvinistic. So there is only normal and everything which falls uh, outside that is not acceptable. 
Mm. That's why he has his uh, strong urge to make me normal, basically. Mm. Uh, part of it is the society awareness. I mean, I think the BBC UK documentary that helps um, to, to bring out the message. I mean, yeah. it, it actually does happen more often than people realize. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. It's, it's, it's a really big tragedy. It's, big yeah. uh, it's basically like a uh, situation with uh, homosexuality in the 1950s. It didn't exist back then. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Socially. And, and the doctors in the old days, in the old thinking, I mean, all they do is deny the surgery. And, uh, and mm. with a baby, I mean, they think that they can make the changes and, yeah. and like, I mean like you said, yeah, it could be the wrong It's really old belief. Uh, back in the 60s, 70s already, they did this, uh, well, basically, uh, one experiment on a well, intersex child, and they picked the wrong one, but they thought that uh, just by raising a child uh, as a boy or a girl would ma mean that a child would become a boy or a girl, depending on what you choose. Shows, but it doesn't work. Yeah. It's not. It, it, it doesn't mean, work like that. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. But people mm. will always be what well, they are inside the head. <laughs> so we have two words for you, Sarah: cantankerous and etouffee. <laughs> Sounds good, Dave. In our caption oh, contest today, who do we have? We Sounds have up, an guys. adorable fella there in bib overalls. <laughs> Jim Williams shared that photo. Mm -hmm. And Rebecca Smith captioned, see what happens when you get into a fight with a tiger in a construction zone? Kenny Postum says Lumberjack Bob and his kitty. And Geraldine Wolverton captioned this, for forget the yellow brick road, follow me Sounds indeed up. if you have a photo that you She's have to come okay. to us and you can ask upload about. it to the U News tab of our website and the photo with the most likes they get a thumbs up, up from our yeah. hangout. Yeah. They also get yeah. verbal praise as well. We like that. And now for someone who's always in yellow stripes, bib overalls. Ooh. We'll have to check in with Jimmy just a little bit later. He's on <laughs> but now we're going to go to a video that could very well win the award for the cutest video of the year. Who wouldn't want a Christmas like this? Here's Puppy Christmas. Oh, <laughs> I have to watch that. Okay, guys. You got two words, Sarah. Cantankerous and it to Um. Oh, she doesn't have the ever. That's not there. <coughs> and, and anyway, I'm going to hop up. Uh, hop, hop, hop up, guys, now. Okay. Um, I feel it's, great, it's great for me to support admire you a little bit here. So. Yeah. Thank you. All right, good, good luck. Keep you. in touch. See you guys later. Bye. Bye, Kenton. Bye-bye. Sarah, you have two words, cantankerous and etouffee. Etouffee. It's it's etouffee. Etouffee. Mm-hmm. It's a, di okay, it's a Cantankerous. And what was the other Surly. one? Etouffee? Etouffee. Yes. Etouffee is a dish found in both Cajun and Creole yeah. cuisine. Dave knew that cooked. one, Wonderful. and I'm like, huh? You can tell how much I cook. I'll tell him I cooked some. some water. Tell, tell, tell Dave that I cooked some this past week. Um, she says she cooked some this week, Dave. She cooked, she cooked some etouffee. What would you say, Sean? An etouffee is a sauce, um, a sauce complement to any other dish. Um, a, a dish treatment, an etouffee okay. this block is a little is different. A creamy. We're gonna start with Sarah. Then we're gonna package. Then Sarah, you'll be at the uh, news desk. A creamy desk. treatment to any and other given dish. Okay, got it. Etouffee. Oh, actually, G zero one, two, and three are dropped. We will just start okay. with the news with these four. One, two, and three are dropped. Oh, hi, so Sarah. Gary. You can head to AD. And I will head to AD. It's blacked out. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you snuck in. Oh, you came in when Kempton was leaving out. Gotcha. Hey, I'll be back, guys. Etouffee and cantankerous. Mm -hmm. I might be in the other studio when I say it. Oh, so that means we get a lot of Etouffee, cantankerous. <laughs> So we have to watch the, sh like, oh, the, sp the stream to see it. Oh, oh Gary, Leah. Yep. Uh, oh, yes, Kenneth, it is yummy. Maya. Is there a lag? Yeah. 
No, we can hear you. No, oh. seems to be fine. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, as far as your health care, is that completely covered with what your choices are? Uh, depends on where they approve it, because I cannot get a surgery in the Netherlands. Uh, that's why I really hope I get a job in no. Norway, because there it would probably be covered. Uh, uh, the the uh, previous surgery I had in Germany, and my insurance company <coughs> had to approve it, the surgery. Hello, so hello, hello. Where is Kafka not is completely up to them. Would you consider coming to the United States if that was able to be funded? I, I, I foresee everything. I mean, I've even had contact with John Hopkins, but they uh, they refused me to even look at me. What is your age again? 28. Okay. What about you? Well, actually, George Chris Trevino is alongside, and many of us oh. looking forward to tonight's game as I think the really first big test. I haven't, I haven't tried yeah, any yeah, other place yeah, in the United yeah, States. Yeah, I'm not really at least to ask a few people to ask around for me. But, um, well, Mayo Clinic did not have any uh, kind of uh, interest or capabilities in that area. Well, I just searched University of Pennsylvania in my area. very slightly favored from what I hear, but yeah. Illinois got some big men. Yeah, Illinois got a lot of big men. So I'll get to that and get the information. Thank you. But Missouri, of course, mm -hmm. has been talented and successful. I've done a lot of research so myself already, so <laughs> I'm a bit tired of it. It's worked really hard yeah. up and down the court. Tiger football well, team's already in Shreveport, no doubt. You did awesome. Day, and and play, uh, Monday afternoon I'm excited to uh, come on out with you. She right. did your and first interview out. with Sarah. That's Chris Trevino. Yay. Yay. That's kind of fun. I mean, Sarah is, is one of the nicest people I've had an interview with so far. Although, uh, th this lady in the late last uh, television show I was in, in the Netherlands, uh, she was also quite nice. But Sarah is even nicer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> of course! Sarah has just this way of making you feel comfortable. Yeah. Great place with you. Hey, moving. Um, they're going to ask us to do to you. Okay. Again, and I think we'll be out. Ah. Sarah will. She normally comes back if she's not going on the five o'clock. She'll come back. He's going to do a you like this, and then we're going to do you? Yeah. yeah, final you of the day. Yeah, yesterday we uh, did a wave uh, by an uh, accident. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some of the arts did and everybody went along and we don't ignore that there was a U given, so. Send out Dave and remind her to the break. Oh, the letters, yay. I like the size. Sure, I'm going to look at that board, guys, as we begin wrapping up the show today. It looks really good, though, for the Christmas holiday weekend.